Hello, this is Michael McCarthy. In this quick video, we're going to take a look at just the basic setup for using group channels with Ornatrix. You're going to use a group channel when you want to select and isolate what you might be doing on a particular group of hairs or guides. I have this scalp object and I'm just going to add a little bit of hair to it using the uh, furball preset here. So you can see we have some hair. Then I'm going to go into Edit Guides, which is where you're going to set up any group channels. I'll go into Roots and scroll down to the Channel Groups Rollout. Now under Group Channel, I can see that we have two that are by default, the Selection and the Vertex Selection for Roots and Vertex. If I click on New, you see I can add a new group channel. Now you only need one group channel and you're going to select the hairs and add them to this group channel with different channel IDs. So to do that, I just need to uh, go over here in my side view, and I'm going to select a bunch of hairs. So maybe those guys there. And I can enter a value into the channel value. I can either do it here by just typing in 1, or I can press these buttons down here, which are just kind of shortcuts that propagate this value field. They're not the same as smoothing groups. You can't have overlapping channel values or anything like that. They're just a quick shortcut to add your value in here. So if I want to kind of see that, I can go into the group display mode and that'll show me the group that I've just made a selection for. So if I want to make another group, I'll go in here and this time I'll use that shortcut of two. You can see that group there. And if I want to make a final group for three, I can go in here. So now I have three groups for my hair. I'll go back to normal display mode. And now that I have these channels assigned, I can hop out of subject mode and I can add different modifiers that might use a group. So you can see with Frizz, I have already set this to one, but usually the default is zero, which means it'll affect all groups. But if you say that you want it to apply to a particular group channel you've set, you can set it to one. You can see that there, two or three, and choose whichever one you want to do. So I might go through there and then maybe I'll say, you know what, I want a curling modifier. Any modifier that is going to use a group, so you can see this is on all groups, that's only two and that's only three, will allow you to do this. So maybe I'll just go and play with the gravity for the final group of two. See all groups, two or three. So there you go, and you can kind of adjust this to whatever you want. So this is great for adding different modifiers and applying them to different groups. And you can add different modifiers as we've done here, or you could add um, you know, the same modifier in different places. So you know, if you wanted a certain amount of frizz in this area, you could certainly do that. And then you could add another frizz that was in two that kind of maybe it only affects, or it affects the middle a little bit more. Um, and doesn't isn't quite as strong or is a little bit stronger so that you can identify different modifiers for different parts of your grooming. So that's a quick primer on just setting up the very basic group channels for your hair. Hopefully that helps you create your grooms. Thank you very much.